Welcome to Echoes of Enlightenment, where we talk about spirituality, life lessons, and overall self-development. Today's episode, we'll be talking about grounding your identity. I wanted to explain why it's important to have a grounded identity. Our identity plays a big role in our life. We live our life from the point of view of our identity or what we think we are. And what we think we are is usually connected to the external things in our life. Friends, our family, places we go, the groups that we hang out with. That's where our identity develops. And a lot of the times we think that identity is who we are more than the person who we truly are as an individual on the inside. So what happens is say something changes externally with a person, place, or a thing that we are, that we have our identity connected to that something that we identify with, say a a restaurant that we've been going to for years closes or we stop being friends with somebody who used to get advice from all the time or something happens to like a a family member. When something happens to one of those external parts of the world, a part of your identity crumbles and now you're trying to put yourself back together because you've identified who you are to be a part of that situation. So that's where our identity can get I would say a little like distorted, a little distorted, because if we realize if you truly realize who we are as an individual and get to know who we are without the external, then you will look at life a whole different way. One thing we know about life is that it's ever changing. Our external, the external world is always changing. There's new things being built, old things being torn down different ways of living life. Everything's always switching. It's just a continue, continuous way of just life. And the reason why things are always changing is because this world's not just built for one specific person. It's built for all of us. It's for us to experience this stuff as individuals. And then you step out of that experience of the world. And when you go home, then it should just be back to you again. And you leave all the external stuff at the door. You can still have your friendships and relationships, but they shouldn't be a part of your identity. And the reason why a lot of people lose their identity or never have gained their identity is because they've never sat alone for long enough to be able to decipher from your thoughts and your opinions and your external identity opinions. Because a lot of our opinions and a lot of the way we think comes from the external world. And that could also be why, you know, some people aren't at peace or unhappy because your spirit, you're not making any decisions from exactly who you are. You're making them based on the external world. So when something changes in the world, it rocks your boat every single time. If you have built your identity on external world. It's going to continue. You're always going to live a chaotic life because the world is chaotic. It continues to change. When, when something, your favorite restaurant closes or something changes in your city and you're upset about it, yeah, it's taken away from you, but they're building something else to accommodate another group of people because we're all here. That's what I'm saying. We're all, we're all here. So we're sharing everything that's outside of us. So that's why we need to be detached from the external world. Because if you count on the external world bringing you peace into your life and true happiness, that's not going to happen. I mean, it could happen temporarily and on some occasions if you really navigate the world and find you a peaceful place. It can happen temporarily. But what would happen if you got to know exactly who you are on the inside of you being able to hear exactly who you are and create that peace on the inside. 
So that means if you can create peace on the inside of who you are by getting to know who you are, doing the shadow work, going in and looking at some traumatic things that might have happened to you from some of the things in the external world and clear those up, then you have a more of a pure temple, pure body, pure mind, pure soul. And you can go out and enjoy all the external things the world brings for us to enjoy and have fun with those and then come back and you can still be at peace within yourself and you'll be able to make better decisions because they're based on you and not based on something that can crumble. If you've identified yourself with the majority people, places and things, then when they change, which we already know that they're going to change at some point, then that means you change. And then when you change, that means you've lost yourself temporarily because you were not grounded. Your identity was connected to something that could crumble. The internal version of who you are can only be crumbled if you allow it to, because that's where your control, that's who you are. That's your spirit. Ask yourself some common questions like, what's my favorite band? Ask yourself, what's your favorite band? And then once you come up with that band, be like, well, who else do I know that? How do I even know about that band? Then you'll be like, oh, my friend, this this is their favorite band. Then you're like, oh, dang, I think this is my favorite band because my this is my friend's favorite band. You will realize a lot of the things that you like are based on what a lot of other people like. You got to sit by yourself for a while just so you can get to know your identity, get to know who you are. A lot of us don't know who we are. It takes, it takes time because we come into this world bombarded by the exterior. There's really not much time for us to get to know who we are internally. There's nothing that teaches us that. So we're easily guided and, and ran that way. Like our life is ran by what goes on on the outside. So we're, we're steadily in a confused state. We have a bunch of mood swings because the life, the the external external world is constantly changing. So that means we're constantly changing. We never fully know who we are. So we're always in a state of unrest. We never feel at peace. But once you take that time to get to know who you are internally and ground your identity, stick to who you are, you'll have a healthier experience in this journey called life. I'm going to end this right here. Until next time.